yeah, no, I'm working with one of those guys right now who you do not know really where he lives or whatever. You know, like one of those guys who's like, you know he goes home to a house every night, but you're not sure what type of house that would even be, dude. Guy spends 80 bucks at gas stations every single day. He says he goes home. I mean, he's shown me pictures of a yard, but I've never seen his house. But, you know, everyone says they've, oh, yeah, no, I've worked with a guy who you have no idea how he actually, like, does stuff in life because he sucks at work. And this guy, yeah, dude, he's, he's a terrible worker, dude. There's times where, like, I'm like, all right, let's hit this spot right here. And, like, I'll jump up out the truck, and he'll just, like, be in the truck still. And I'm like, what's up? What's up? And he's, like, pointing at the door handle. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, how do you work it? Talking to me through the glass. Talking to me through the glass on how to work a truck handle of a door, dude. I'm like, dude, it's a, it's a, it's a truck door, dude. Just pull the handle like every other car you've ever been in. And then he goes... Oh, okay. Then he got out. I was like, you you have a house that you live in, dude? Because, like, that was tough for you to get out of this truck, and this truck's from the 90s. So you should be used to truck handles like that. And he was like, yeah, no, I got a house. Yeah, no problem. Also told me he's got a side job where he, like, sells old wheelchairs. I don't know, dude. That's just what he said. I found it scary, dude. But I guess if you're selling old wheelchairs, it must mean you have a house. So I got to take this guy's word for it that he actually goes home to an actual place. Even though I know there's a lot of people out there who you think no way they go to an actual home. No way they're a normal person. But they are, dude. This guy, too.